Hello, I'm Paul Garrett from Orbis Software. I'd like to quickly show you how our new Web Service Connector tool can be configured and used for a simple web service in Tar Center. Firstly, I'll add the connection to Tar Center. I'll add a new connection and I'll call it um, Capitals because this service gives you the capital of a city. Um, I know the, the um, URL of this web service, so I'll just um, paste that in and say OK to that. Now, that has now gone away and interrogated the web service and found all of the details of this web service. So I'll just say OK to that. I don't need to enter any other details. That's the web service added to Task Center. Now I'm going to um, go into a task that I created earlier. So here's the task I created earlier. It's just got two steps in it. The first step is a database query step. Um, that's just um, returning some data from a database, in this case a country code, but it could be a list of country codes, um, or, or it could be a different step with a different tool. And this other step that I've added here is a save as file step, and this is just to save the results that the web service returns. So now I'm going to add a new step to the task I'll just add a web service connector step. I'll just leave it with its default name. I'm going to use data from my query that I created earlier. And if I go into the web service, you see that choose the web service that, that I just created, capitals. Um, what operation do I want to perform on the service? I want to get the capital city and then after that it's as simple as here is my, my my query it's coming back with the country codes here on the other side is the web service and the web service has just got one parameter other web services may have multiple parameters but this is a very simple one and in this case there's no no transformation needed on the data so I'll just drag the data across join the two two sides of it and it's as simple as that. That's the data now, the, the step now set. And I just join my steps up. Simple as that. Say OK to that. That's that task now created. And if I want to run this task to prove that it works, I'll just queue the task now. I could have had an event step in there to run the task. Here you see the task starting up. and it's completed. And just to prove that's completed, if I go down to back to the desktop, I've now got a, a file saved on the desktop, capital of country. And what does that contain? It contains the result from the web service Washington City. That could then be used in further steps in Task Center, uh, but that's as simple as it, is, as it gets. I hope you can see how, how easy that is. Thanks very much.